This is Kathy Reifsteiner, a Microsoft CRM certified consultant with Customer Dynamics. The accounts and contacts are the foundation of your CRM system. The accounts contain information about companies, whereas the contacts contain information about employees that work for those companies. This video will demonstrate how to create an account in CRM. There are many different ways to create accounts in CRM. You can manually create the account, you can convert a lead into an account, or you can import a list of accounts. For this demonstration, we will only be discussing how to enter an account manually. So let's create an account, but before we do, let's discuss duplicates. With many users creating accounts in CRM, you are bound to occasionally have duplicate records. So it's a best practice to always search for an account before you create it. While in Workplace, I'll navigate to accounts located under the customer group. When the grid of active accounts is displayed, I will navigate to the quick search area to begin my search. The account I want to create is Advanced Computer Systems, so in the search box I will enter asterisk and the word advanced. By using the asterisk, which is a wildcard, the results will be any account with the word advanced in its account name. Now that we've established that the account does not exist in CRM, we are ready to create it. I will navigate to the upper left hand corner to the new button in the ribbon. A new account form is open and I will begin filling in my account information. I will be sure to fill in fields that have the red asterisk because they are required fields and if left blank, I will not be able to save the account. Let's review a few key fields. The account name. When adding the account name, use the company's official name. When in doubt, refer to the company website. Relationship type. This type can help us organize our accounts into customers, prospects, vendors, and such. The drop-down list can be customized to contain relationship types that are relevant to your company. The phone number fields. All the phone number fields contain scripting to automatically format your number. For international numbers, you can enter the plus sign, and then anything that follows will remain unformatted. For the address fields, for many companies, such as manufacturing companies, you will have several different addresses for the account. On the account form itself, there are fields to capture both the bill to and the sold to addresses. There are also state and country lookups for the address. These lookups will search a list of countries and a list of states, and they are set up as filtered lookups, meaning depending what country you pick, your state lookup will just be the states located in that country. After you've completed all the required fields, you are now ready to save the form. You can navigate up to the ribbon and click on the Save and Close. I can now see my new account in the account grid. As a reminder, the accounts and contacts combined create your company's customer database. The accounts contain the company information, whereas the contacts contain the employee information. This video demonstrated how to manually create an account in CRM. The other methods will be discussed in later videos. 